So if you're experiencing 0x800 error in Windows 11, uh, chances are there are some settings that are off and we can go ahead and fix that. First thing we're going to do is uh, pressing Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and we are going to search for uh, troubleshooters here. So let's go ahead and uh, type that in and you will see uh, troubleshoot settings show up. And here we're going to go ahead and click on other troubleshooters and now you will see the windows update troubleshooter right here so go ahead and then click on the run button let it do its thing and once it's done running then you can go ahead to windows update and then check for any updates that you might have been missing make sure that you have enough disk space when you're doing this so in your c drive for example as you can see i have 135 gb free you need to have at least 10 to 20 gb uh, free disk space on whatever drive you have windows installed for it to function properly and for these errors to not show up uh, as you can see i have one update but this is more of a security update so this is not going to affect our uh, problem the next thing to do is to uh, restart the windows update service and the background intelligent transfer service now to do this we're going to press the windows key and search for services i'm going to go ahead and click this one and now we have all of our services load are loaded up so the first thing that we're going to do is find uh, the background intelligent transfer service bits as you can see this is running if this is not running for you double click this click the stop button once it has stopped then click the start button again now we're going to do the same thing for windows update as well so let's quickly search for it windows update service right here uh, as you can see once again this is running but if it isn't for you go ahead stop it and then start it again once that is done uh, you should be able to restart your system and fix the problem but if that does not solve your issue we're going to run some uh, commands so right click your start menu click on terminal admin give it the permissions that it needs this is powershell but you can also run it in command prompt without any problems so sfc slash scan now go ahead and press enter now this will start scanning your system for any corrupt missing or broken files and then it will go ahead and replace it so you're going to have to wait for this process to finish i can't quite do that so i'm just going to close it now and the next command we're going to run is dism online clean up image and then restore health this also works in more or less the same manner. It goes online, looks up the, at the entire installation of Windows that you have and restores any current missing files. Once both of these commands are done running, you should go ahead and look for a new Windows update and uh, that should fix the problem. If it doesn't though, then we're going to try doing a clean reboot. What a clean reboot is, is that essentially you get rid of all Microsoft, uh, all third party services running on your system and restart your PC. So once again, open up the run prompt and this time I'm going to type in msconfig. Press enter and system configuration will show up. Now what we're going to do here is that we're going to head over to services, click hide all Microsoft services and then just go through this list and uncheck everything. We can also just hit the disable all box and this will stop all of these services from running up when you start your PC. The next thing we're going to do is a startup. So we're also going to disable all of our startup items. To do that, we just click on this open task manager button and task manager will open up in the startup app section. As you can see, I have some enabled, some disabled, but for this one, we're going to go ahead and disable every enabled service you have. And then we're going to go ahead and restart our PC. Once your PC is restarted, of course, don't forget to apply these changes by clicking the apply button right here. Once your PC is restarted, try to see if you can uh, replicate the issue. If you can't, chances are one of the third party apps or items that you're using is causing this issue. Last but not least, uh, if nothing else works, you can always try rolling back uh, the latest update that you installed. So press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings, head over to Windows update. And uh, now you have a couple of options here. So the first one being uh, is if your uh, update was installed more than 10 days ago, th there is basically no way of rolling it back. So uh, if you don't see the rollback button right here, you can just go ahead and click on update history. And uh, now this will show you all of the different uh, 
updates that you have driver updates definition and other updates as well as you can see all of these were installed uh, way back so i can't really go ahead and update them uh, so uh, the feature update is also installed way 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 back than uh, 10 days so we can't roll this one back as well so now to do this just click on uninstall updates and what this does is that it will show you the latest updates that you have uh, recently installed or any updates that you can get rid of just try and uninstall uh, these updates one at a time so that you see what's causing the problem keep restarting your pc in between and you should be able to fix it and that's it that's how you can fix the problem if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media and if these videos don't work out as well for you do consider getting a membership that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video